Okay, this might be a short video, but that's only because I feel dumb making it. Have you ever jumped in anything where you're like, I don't know anything about it, I really want to learn, but I have so many doubts of whether or not I'll actually be able to figure anything out. Well, that is what I am starting to do, and let me talk about it and also possibly ask for help. As some of you may or may not know, I have been really just diving super deep into the rabbit hole of Home Assistant, which means, you know, all the, the Wi-Fi, the Zigbee's, I haven't got the like Z-Wave or well, it's pretty much Wi-Fi and Zigbee, but I've been diving just nose deep, just like trying to customize it, make it the exact way I want it and do all the things, right? Well, the latest thing I got obsessed with was soil moisture sensors. I wanted them in my yard. I wanted to know what, you know, the readings were all the time. I wanted to be reliable, but they're very low powered. They don't have a lot of range like other devices. I mean, they, it's just kind of like they're good, but you need a good outside Zigbee device in order to be a repeater. Now that's just context here. I've already actually figured that out. I got Phillips Hue lights. I put them out in my driveway. Those are always on. Problem solved, that doesn't matter. What does matter is that I started to dive into something along the journey before I solved the problem of something that did interest me, but I'm not really sure how to actually do really even the starting part of it. And that sounds really bad. This was the first thing. This is what really got me into the like, hey, do I want to try to develop something and actually like make something customized? This is just a regular Sonoff uh, USB dongle, something that you can either use as a coordinator or as a router. I have it out of its shell because I, because I was like doing the resets, hooking up the USB, trying to flash firmware. I failed miserably. I spent two days failing miserably to get this thing to work as I wanted which was literally, I just wanted to plug it into a USB outlet and have it act as a repeater. That's it. No sensors, no nothing. Just be a router, repeater, whatever. That's it. I wanted to be able to take any just standard USB five volt, you know, wall wart, plug this into it and be like, boom, Zigbee router. Now this is the Sonoff version E. There's a version P, this is version E that causes a big issue, right? There's not a lot of things for it, but there are some things for it. Long story short, it really came down to like, I think I erased the original hardware installation verification code thing. And then when I try to pair this up with my ZHA and Home Assistant, which that's what I'm using, ZHA, not the MQ, whatever the other one is, Zig to MQ, whatever. I needed an install code flashed on the device. I didn't have it. I couldn't figure it out. The CRC thing. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then it really doesn't matter. The fact is, didn't work. So then I did what normal Jason would do and I went out and I just bought a bunch of different things that I thought I would need to possibly develop my own sensor. Not necessarily to achieve anything specifically. I just wanted to take my own device, Zigbee specifically, probably Wi-Fi, I wanted to take any device and hook up a sensor to it. So, you know, example A, this is a temperature sensor, right? I wanted to be able to take a device that I put together, take the temperature reading from this and be able to import that into Home Assistant and be able to see it as an entity and be able to look at it just like I would if I went on Amazon and bought some kind of temperature sensor. Nothing groundbreaking. I mean, I can go online and find these devices all day long, but I just really wanted to see if I could do it. Because when I was digging into this thing, I actually, I connected to USB. I started doing serial things and I was like doing com or CLI commands. And I got deeper into this than I've ever been into. And I just started learning things and it, and it just piqued my interest, if that kind of makes sense. So I was like, I want to make my own sensor. I will give you a quick rundown of all the things that I did, but like this, this is a USB to serial thing. Uh, I got that. Um, this isn't, you know what? Let me just flip the camera. Around. Now, bear in mind, there's a couple things here. One, this is really nothing. I just put that there and I was just, it was really just kind of holding things together. It's really not wired for anything. This means really nothing at all. Two, I still have a bunch of stuff coming in the mail. 
that does not necessarily mean the stuff that I have coming in the mail is going to help me whatsoever. I'm just saying I ordered a bunch of things and they're still coming. So I've already introduced the Sonoff dongle. Again, this is the version uh, enhanced E, Pro E, whatever the crap E version versus the P, right? So that's that outside of its case, whatever. And then I got this, which turns out I haven't actually had to use yet, but this takes a USB. It turns it into the, you know, little serial things that you can go and you can put on boards. Like for example, right here, you can put that on that board so you can actually read the firmware and flash firmware and stuff like that. I have literally not even found a way that I needed that or used that or anything like that, or really even tried, but I have it and that's what matters. And then I got in the mail. This was the thing that I actually got first, and I spent the most time messing with this. Uh, this one is an ESP8266 Wi-Fi board thingy. So it sticks in here, and I did the power to it and everything like that, which it just runs off of standard USB, micro USB, or I could just apply power to it. It's really, it's just either or. Do y'all remember that scene in Zoolander where Zoolander is like trying to work a computer and like he turns into a monkey and he starts jumping on the desk and like bashing the computer? Just, that's essentially what I was doing when I was trying to figure this out. Technically, I currently have this like moisture sensor thing hooked up to it, but that's not, again, it doesn't actually do anything. I was just trying to get the temperature temperature thing. I, I just, I wanted to get the reading. I wanted to see if it worked. I could not get anything to connect. Couldn't get anything to work. Couldn't read anything. I just, I failed miserably. S multiple hours. Multiple hours. Even if I tried, I could not remember all the steps that I took to try to get this thing working. I just, I put power. I, I signed it to ports. I went through the different programs and, and, I was just trying to get readings, but I couldn't get readings, right? There's programs you download and it's every reading I got was like, turn on and off a switch or what's a voltage or how long has it been online? I could not get one single thing to pop up and say, hey, there's a sensor connected to it. Here's the value of the sensor. You could see it. I could see every, just three things. So this frustrated the heck out of me, went to bed, give up. And yes, ultimately it would be nice if I can just kind of play around with the idea of my own custom soil moisture sensor thing with a Zigbee. I, I mean, that's just, you know, that was 11, $9, $8 for like 11 of them. So whatever, I, you know, it's just a sensor. But this little thing, this little thing right here, I had really high hopes for this. I looked this up online. This thing looked very, very, very promising. And I was like, super excited to just hook it up, check it out and see what I could do with it. Now this comes in two parts. So that is just the little USB uh, adapter thing. It's what you plug in your computer, right? And then you have this, this is the little uh, XBS2C, right? Uh, it's got a little antenna on it. It's got two milliwatt I think, yeah, two milliwatt broadcasting capability. By the way, I found out that it does not fit in the breadboard. Actually, I knew that because I watched a few videos. Anyways, it does not fit in the breadboard. There's nothing else you can really do except you get this little device and then you take this and you put it on top of that. And then when you do that, you can plug it into your USB. Then you can download the software from the, the God, who is it? Digi? Yeah. So Digi has the XCT, whatever software you can go in there. You can make changes. You can configure it. You can do whatever the things, and then you can actively scan for networks. If you don't see it by now, the whole reason why I was excited is because I saw this and they're like, Hey, it's super easy. You can get it connected to your Zigbee network and you can do things like make this a coordinator, which I don't want, but you can also make it a router or a repeater, whatever really easily. That was kind of cool. I just wanted to see if I could do that. And then if I could do that, I can move on to maybe hook and see and if I could do sensors or whatever it is that I wanted to do. But today I spent four or five hours, could not do it. I have everything hooked up. I have the software running. Everything's recognized, drivers, etc. I'm making changes to it. I'm running Home Assistant. I'm using the standard ZHA uh, uh, Zigbee stuff in order to add Zigbee devices. And no matter what I do, I cannot get this thing to be recognized, to add a new device, to just see it as a device. Whether it has any entities whatsoever, whether it does anything at all, I just cannot get it to see it. Lights are blinking on it. The software saying it's writing. I'm able to read all the values. Like I think I'm doing what I need to do. I've been all over Reddit. I've been on YouTube. I've been like watching and reading everything I can. 
maybe I'm missing something. Eventually, I want to be able to learn how to use this. This is just a Wi-Fi chip. I want to be able to do the sensors and, again, use just a little Wi-Fi sensor thing, maybe connect it uh, into Home Assistant just as, you know, a portable thing. Like, yeah, cool. I want to do that. I bought that for a reason, so I want to be able to use that. Uh, but this is kind of the biggest thing. I'm just really curious about Zigbee. I had some kind of a rough start thing going on with Zigbee, but now that my network has evolved i've added more routers repeaters and like now it's just getting more stable so i'm getting more excited and i want to maybe just play around with developing my own things like some sensors something that does a thing or i don't really know where i'm going with that but i can't even get the basics working so all of my fears of not knowing what i'm doing are a hundred percent confirmed right now Oh, and this was not actually directly related to the thing that I was trying to do right now, but uh, this is just some random uh, 37 sensor kit thing that I purchased that I ended up try grabbing some stuff out of. And also, I have this. This is an Arduino. I th I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, anyways, so this is this board. I haven't even plugged this in yet. I haven't used really much of anything out of here. I have grabbed some sensors out of it. Um, but I got this, which has a bunch of just miscellaneous components in it, which I was just like, hey, cool, catch all. I can just, you know, may or may not need any of this, but at least I'll have some idea or some sort of hardware thing to possibly be able to use just in case I run into something. I have an, Ar uh, am I saying that right? Arduino, Ar Arduino, Arduino. I have an Arduino board somewhere. It's doing nothing. It's in a box. And I'm pretty sure I also bought something with that to help do things with it unless this is it is this an Arduino? no i'm pretty sure this is not it so i also have an arduino somewhere i just gotta figure out where that was i have a, a raspberry pi as well but um i'll also have to find that it gets worse because i have all kinds of like buck converters and transistors mosfet collections uh all kinds of resistors i made this whole little thing just you know, like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to need these. I'm definitely going to try to just really get into some, which, you know, I've used some of these in order to do some repairs. Uh, yes. I mean, come on. It's stupid stuff. Integrated circuits. Okay. Those are empty. Sure. Everything's a mess, but you know, I try to get just everything like, I don't even know what this is. What the heck is that? Where, what is it? Uh, voltage regulator? What is Low voltage DC. Okay. I would assume some sort of a motor control voltage regulator. Anyways, I got... <sighs> when it comes to repairing electronics, I have taken things apart. I've been able to find things that were wrong and let's say just have to replace a resistor or maybe a capacitor went bad or maybe just literally the soldering just came undone. So I had to just heat it up and boom, it's fixed. So i am ne not necessarily used anything here to build anything, but I have actually done some repairs that have been useful in just real life situations. Getting these little kits and all these little add-ons and all that other stuff was just like, hey, Jason, one of these days, maybe you're going to want to make something yourself, you know, and just put something together and be like, hey, cool. I made that. I designed that. I selected every single thing that I wanted it to do, and then I did it. So here's the point of the video. For all of you just developers, electrical engineers, like nerdy people that just like, this is nothing to you. You're like, this is the dumbest, easiest thing you could possibly. I'm trying to figure this out. This is what I want to start with. This is the thing that I'm most excited about. This is the thing that I really want to get working. My primary goal right now is to do something very simple. I want to take this Zigbee device, first of all, and I want to get it connected to Home Assistant. I want to be able to go into my Home Assistant to ZHA. I want to be able to find a new device. I want to see this device as a router, repeater, or just a Zigbee device in general, and I want to add it. It doesn't have, a ha have to have any entities. I just want to be able to see and know that I was able to power it up and actually get it recognized. There are so many settings in the program and I, I, I've been on Reddit and I followed the instructions. I duplicated people's settings and I can't get it to work. Like I said, four or five hours, I gave up. I'm like, I'm gonna go mow the lawn again. I just mowed it yesterday, but that sounds better than bashing my head up against the wall. If I can get this to connect, then my next goal would be to take like a, a temperature sensor and just, you know, plug this into here somewhere. I'm sure that like you just duct tape it. I'm kidding. I'm not that dumb. But the amount of satisfaction I would get by taking like literally just 
an open source chip without some company making their own firmware and doing all the legwork to get it working and then just taking some random sensor whether it's water temperature soil whatever and just making them making them work making them go together and and get in home assistant like that's that would be the biggest achievement like i would feel so much better about everything that i just did because right now i feel like crap because i've dedicated so many hours to it so many days and i have gotten nowhere and yeah it kind of hurts worse because what i was doing i actually wanted to make little videos about be like hey this is a thing that i did check it out this is something that i learned check it out but i haven't been able to learn or show anything so now my video is calling all the nerds find me the easiest dumbest way to take home assistant zh the built-in zha home assistant and connect this xb sc2 yeah sc2 zigbee module thing I'll try to link both of these things in the description down below. Hell, I'll even link this little board thing down below as well. And I'll even link the Sonoff one if you really give a crap about it. I would love to use this as a repeater, but I can't figure it out because I don't have the installation code every time Zigbee tries to pair with it. It says, do you have an installation code installed on this device? Like, no, I did not back that up. I don't know how to generate one. And the CRC thing keeps not validating. So this is pretty much trash to me doesn't matter this is the goal if anyone out there knows like really knows i'm not saying go to google and send me a bunch of links because i tell i'm telling you i've been on there a lot okay if you don't know don't search and send me down the same wild goose chase i've probably already been down i want somebody who knows okay please help please just connect just let me, let me connect it. And then maybe I'll hook up a sensor. That's it. That's my latest obsession as I want to make my own sensor. Like, and subscribe. Have yourself a good day.